County schools are rolling out their next wave of training to help stop bullying. 200 students in Daphne and Orange Beach have learned what to look for if a fellow student is being bullied. Local 15's James Gordon was there for the training today. James, not all students in Baldwin County got the training. No, they didn't, but you know, they're called peer helpers and they volunteer to do this. Now, you can call them anti-bullying, anti-drug, or anti-dropout foot soldiers. Start to come up with ways that they could deal with the problem. Bright colored shirts and bright smiles. These are the seventh and eighth graders that have stepped up to help others. A lot of people are being bullied and I think it's bad that whenever somebody's bullying you, that not a lot of people stand up and that we're here to stand up for them now. The peer helper program now has an army of more than 200 high school and middle school students. Students train today alongside professional counselors. Our philosophy is that you train as many kids as you can to become liaisons between the student body and the small number of counselors and adults you have on campus. The idea is to be proactive, stopping a problem before it gets worse. The program has been around since 1998. It's funded by the Jennifer Claire Moore Foundation, named after a Foley High School student who committed suicide. Matthew Stinson, a junior at Foley High, has been a peer helper since he was in middle school. He says passing on the legacy to the younger kids only makes sense. Actually, I just got out of a group. We were doing some role-playing situations, and I had a girl every time give me the correct answer the way I would have given it. Consistently, she would say, well, no, if I saw this person being bullied, I would I'd talk to them about it. I'd probably go talk to the bully and see what was wrong with them or why they were upset. So, yeah, I see a lot, a lot of hope in this. Well, students go through a selection process. Some are recommended by the teachers or by principals at their school, and others apply and go through an essay and interview process just to get the training that they got today. Now we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, Local 15 News. All right, James.